Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Klaviyo for SMS marketing. SMS marketing is a powerful way to reach your customers directly on their phones and drive engagement, conversions, and loyalty. With Klaviyo, you can easily create and send effective SMS campaigns that complement your email marketing strategy and boost your revenue. In this video, I'll show you how to set up SMS marketing on Klaviyo step-by-step. -step. I'm also going to show you how to set up a landing page to collect phone numbers and how to make sure you are compliant with all the different policies that you need to be following. By the end of this video, you will have a solid understanding of how to use SMS SMS marketing on Klaviyo to grow your business and stay in touch with your customers. So if you're ready, head over to Klaviyo.com and that's going to bring you to the homepage here. And if we have a quick scroll through the homepage, we can see some of the features that they offer. So we've got email marketing, we've got SMS marketing, mobile push and reviews. And if we scroll down, we can see a few more things that they can do like analytics. But if we scroll back up to the top and head to pricing, we can see what the different pricing packages are. We've got a free one, a $45 a month one and a $60 a month one. And you're just going to get slightly different features with each of those packages. But today we're going to sign up with the free package and you're going to sign up with your email, password, company name, company website, phone number. And it's going to ask you how you're going to use Klaviyo. So go ahead and fill all that in and click create an account. Once you've done that, it's going to ask you to describe your business and you've got a drop down menu to choose from. So just go ahead and pick whichever one is relevant to your business and then click continue. And then it's going to ask you what the main focus of your business is right now. And you can select up to three options and then you need to select your primary business platform. So select whichever one you are currently using. And then it asks how many contacts you have. And then you need to add your business address. And then finally, it's just going to ask you your sender name and your sender email address. And then it's going to ask how you want to communicate with your customers, whether you want email, SMS or both. And we're going to select both for now. And then you just need to go and verify your email by going to your inbox and clicking the link. Once you do that, you'll be brought to your dashboard, which looks like that. And it's got set up your account here. So we're just going to go through some of these. We don't need to do these first few, like connecting your business platform and inviting your team. We're going to head straight to begin with SMS. So click on that. And the first thing we need to do is confirm your sending information. So click confirm and you're going to start by selecting the countries that you want to send SMSs to. And then in the top right hand corner, click next. Here you're going to customize your sending information. So you need to customize your sender ID. And you've got a few restrictions there that you need to follow. And then you need to add your company name and you can see on the right hand side how that's going to show up on your customers phones. And now it's going to ask whether you want to create a sign up form or upload SMS subscribers. If you already have phone numbers collected, you can just upload them. But as we don't, we're going to select create a sign up form. And here you need to select the marketing channel that website visitors subscribe to. So if they subscribe to an email, they'd be added to the email list. And next it's going to ask you what kind of form you want. You can have a pop up, a full page, a fly out or an embedded form. So you've got a few different options. We're going to go for pop up and click next. And now you get to choose whether you want to add a teaser or not. We're going to go for don't include a teaser just to keep it simple. You can then add a coupon that the customer gets for signing up. So you can add your coupon code and then add a coupon description. And now it is building our form for us. Then you need to select a layout so you can have an image on the left or the right, have the background as the image or have no image at all. Once you're happy with the one that you've selected, go and click edit form. And here you can customize this even further. So for example, if we click on this image, we can go over to the left and we can replace this image with one of our own. If we go back, we can go to styles and here you can change the layout that we selected earlier, but you can also change the background color, the color of the text, the fonts, lots and lots of things to customize. If we go back again, we can go to targeting and behavior. And in here we can choose the timing of when this pop-up will be displayed. So it can either be immediately, it can be after a certain trigger or after a certain time delay. So for example, after the customer has scrolled a certain amount on the page, you can also choose whether to display it on desktop, mobile, or both. 
And if we go back again, we can click on add blocks. And here you can just add a few more things to your form. So for example, if we wanted to add an image, you just click and drag that over. And then on the left hand side, click browse image library. And if you want to delete anything, just hover over it and click the blue trash can. And of course you can go in and change any of this. So just click on the text and you can just type on the left hand side here to change it. So just spend some time customizing this sign up form so that it matches your branding on your website. Once you're happy, click publish in the top right hand corner. And you can see I've actually got a few alerts here. So we're going to click review alerts and they are over here. So you would want to go through and make sure you fix all of those, but we don't need to today. So we're just going to click publish anyway. So that is our pop-up created and you'll need to integrate that into your website. Well, from here, we're going to go back to get started and we're going to go back to our begin with SMS route. And the next thing we need to do is update our terms of service. So we need to create a mobile terms of service and you need to enter your company name and your support email. And then you want to select what kind of messages you'll be sending from the drop down menu. Just toggle the filters on and off so that it is applicable to you. And then it's going to ask you to link your current privacy policy. So go ahead and copy and paste that in there and make sure you check the box underneath saying you have updated your privacy policy to include SMS and then click next. And here it has created some mobile terms of service for you. So what you need to do is copy all of that and pop it in your terms of service on your website just to make sure you are compliant and tick that box at the bottom and click save. You now need to do the same for your terms of service. So you want to enter your terms of service URL, click the box and click done. And we're all done with that route. So the next thing we need to do is go to campaigns and in the top right hand corner, we're going to click create campaign. Firstly, we need to name the campaign. You then need to select the date that you want to send it and choose whether you're doing an email or an SMS. And we of course are doing on an SMS and then you can add a tag if you want. That's just for your own reference. So for example, if you were doing a sort of holiday promotion, you could add a holiday tag. Once you're happy with all of that, click save and continue. You're now going to select your recipients from this drop down menu. So you've got all your different lists in here. You can select quite a few if you want to. You can then select don't send lists again. So if you want to exclude anyone, you can do that. You can also choose to skip recently message profiles. So anyone who has been messaged within the last 24 hours won't receive this. Obviously you don't want to be bombarding your audience with constant messages. You've then got some tracking options down here. If you want to have a play around with that, you can, but we're just going to leave that off for now to keep it nice and simple. And down in the bottom right hand corner, click continue to content. And here we're going to start creating our message. On the left hand side, you can type your message directly into this box. So let's enter something about a deal that they can get with a link to our website. And you can see in the preview on the right hand side, the link that we've entered is is different and that's because it automatically shortens the link, but you can change that down at the bottom here with this toggle. You can also add an emoji if you want to by clicking on here and selecting one from the menu. Once you're happy with all of that, go up to compliance at the top and you can change a few things. If you toggle this one off, it's going to remove the business name at the beginning of the message. And some of these won't be available to you based on where you are. So just bear that in mind. For example, you have to have the unsubscribe link in certain countries. Once you're happy with everything, go to the top right hand corner and we're going to send a preview just to check everything looks as it should. So you're just going to go ahead and enter your own phone number in there and click send preview. And once you're happy with everything, go to the top right hand corner and click save. And here it's going to ask you if you are ready to send. So it's going to ask you to read through all of this and just double check all of the details. And if anything is wrong, you can click the edit buttons to change them. But if everything is as it should be, you're going to go to the bottom right hand corner and you're going to click schedule or send. So obviously you can send it immediately or schedule it for a later date. It's not going to let me do that right now because I don't have any recipients uploaded, but you can go ahead and do that when you're ready. So I hope you found this video helpful and you have a better idea of how to set up SMS marketing using Klaviyo. Thanks for watching.